What's up guys, it's your boy Ru and we are back for another Trolls of Cold Steel 2 video. Continuing right from the previous part, we took care of all of the bonding events, the final sets, and now we are about to go talk to Scarlet, have this nice conversation with her, and then we'll see what happens next. Because uh, I believe we're about to start part 4 of the touring Erebonia, and we're going to kind of switch things up here a little bit, which I'll explain after this cutscene. Because I don't know how long this is going to be. This little part right here. Oh? There she is. There she is, the former sister. Who else would it be, Scarlet? Who else would visit you? Did you come to listen to me whine and complain about you just like every, all the majority of the fans? I don't care what happens to me. Yeah, she's just like totally, she totally lost her will. Completely given up. Do whatever you want. Stop being so flippant about the whole thing. But you seem a little bit more cheerful than I was expecting. I'm glad to see it. Well, this sounds like you're doing alright at least. That's good. My only complaint is that I wasn't, yeah, she's still on that. She's still on it. She won't let it go. All things happen for a reason. All things happen for a reason. I wish I could tell you. You said you used to be a sister, right? You mentioned something about training over in Arteria? So that wasn't a lie? Sorry, it's not that I didn't believe you, just it's hard to believe. Cause you know, he doesn't know anything about the church, really, besides you go, you go there to pray and whatnot for mass. I doubt you'd know, but the church is a fairly complex organization. I don't know. Can you explain it to me, Scarlet? She was invited to join the Congregation of for the Sacraments. Congregation for the Sacraments. Literally, all I know about that is the title. I don't know anything else. I have no clue. Maybe it's a probably, probably, I'm assuming it was explained in the Sky Games or something. I don't know. Y'all can feel free to let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel free to call me out in the comments because I don't know what the heck that meant. Became a squire, as in a knight. But I thought you were supposed to be a sister, a nun. Unless you're saying the church has knights now, now I'm confused. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Not like I had a clue before. And her hometown was gone. Yeah. Get some rest? Is that it? Really? I thought we were supposed to have a longer conversation. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you strain yourself. You really are a softie. Yeah, he's a softie. My boy Reen is a massive softie. He's a teddy bear. We'll have to come back another time. I wish. If I'm interested, I am interested, but we don't see you. We actually don't see you. Can you please appear in Kuro? Please? I would love to play with you. I would love to play with you, Scarlet. Can you please appear in Kuro? No Kiseki. That would be so dope. Imagine using her with the new combat system. Are you, are you kidding me, fam? Come back another time. Again, we're not going to see her. She's done. So we're about to return back inside. Rain? Rain? What the heck is happening right now? Why aren't we going inside? What the heck is happening? Oh, hello. What's wrong? You seem all flustered. What the heck is happening? We got a message? A message from who? What is going on? Somebody explain this to me. Something has happened over in Crossbow. Oh. This is, this is where we're going to see that thing. This is where we're going to see that thing. In Crossbell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to see that tree, aren't we? That tree that I still don't fully understand what the heck that thing is about because I didn't play the Azure games or Zero. We saw the city covered by a blue barrier from where Gorilla Fortress was. But it's not that, I'm guessing. Because otherwise, why would they talk about it? It's something even weirder. We're going to have a closer look. Grab all our Nakama and hop on board and let's go take a look. Alright, let's go take a look, fam. Let's go take a look at this site. We are about to see the thingy, which means the story plot is about to get even better. The game story plot is going to get even better than what it was the past 40 videos, whatever the heck number we're on. Turn me up. I am ready. I am ready for this fictional greatness. Let's go. 
Talk to me. Oh, I can see crossbow now. There seems to be something emitting light in the distance as well. Nani? No, 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 Nani? Nani? What is this? And there it is. The Azure tree, which I fully do not understand because I didn't play Zero or Azure, which means in a year from now, when those English translations drop, the official English translated games drop on the consoles, your boy is going to be playing it on this channel, probably live stream it, and then we'll probably do like a CS2 quick speed run or something because this will be dope to re-experience. Because right now, all I know about this is that it's somehow a part of the Phantasmal Blaze plan. And uh, it's involved with, with this, what's about to happen in Erebonia in about 10 videos from now. 10 to 15 videos from now. That's all I know. They have to use that Azure Tree in order to ignite the curse, I believe. That's sort of the situation. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't that created by Kia? Isn't Kia-chan the one that created this? If I'm not mistaken? Because she's supposed to be the Zero Child, right? Some sort of physical... Physical creation of Septirion, something of that nature by alchemy, something like that. And the Azure tree, what is that? Yeah, it looks like a tree to me. It's got branches like a monkey could swing on. It's something completely otherworldly. Do you know Celine? Even Celine doesn't know what the heck this is. Just what is happening in Crossbell, fam? What is happening over in Crossbell? I do not know. There's another reason why I really enjoy this. Because they don't know what's happening and I don't know what's happening. So I kind of vibe with it, you know what I'm saying? But this is a different experience for y'all. My perspective. My perspective of me playing through these games. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Crow? McBurn. Vita Crotel, the opera singer. Life just full of surprises. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right, isn't the Azure Zero project a Kia situation? Look at her. A simp. A simp for her master. Go on your knees and kneel and bark. Diwali, bark, bark. Wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Naruhodo. What's up, Crow Armbrust? Senpai, how do you feel about all this? You got front row seats, you're with enforcers, how do you feel about this situation? Phantasmal Blaze Plan. What you see before you is a miracle born of human hands, the Zero Child. It's Kia, right? It has to be Kia. I'm pretty sure. And I... The end of the second movement is finally nigh. It's time for the finale. Let the preparations begin. Screenshot it. This story's finale is bound to be one to remember. Unreal. Stupid fly, dude. Get out of here. What's up, Crow? You're just gonna stand here and not say anything meaningful? Huh? But there you go, y'all. The preparations are beginning. The preparations are beginning. Oh! We get mention of Campanella in this game? We got mention of Campanella in this game. I did not remember that. I don't remember this. Okay, more cutscenes. 
More cutscenes? What is happening? What is going on? Why are we going to the Valflame Palace? Or the Verbinian capital in Heimdall? Why are we going here? Because you know, Osborne is in the graveyard. Osborne is five feet under. What's up, Rufus? Current chairman. What's up, Rufus? You governor general? Or whatever position you have right now. What are you, chief of staff? Excuse me, Lord Rufus. <laughs> What's up, Aralia? What's up, Le Guin? You smoke demon. You utter golden smoke demon. How are you doing? My favorite female character. Waifu set aside, obviously. Because Alyssa and Sarah are my two waifus. Setting them aside, Aurelia is my favorite female character in Kaseki. Turning me up. Well, if it isn't General Le Guin and General Wallace Bart, uh, Brigadier General Wallace Bardius, how are you two doing? What are you two doing here? I thought you were supposed to be out on the front lines on the Western fronts. First rower, not Barriard. We are putting stuff. We are putting in the work. We are liberating. We are liberating. Uh, come get this work, Aurelia. Come get this work. Aurelia, come here and come get this work. I will have no problem botting you. I'm not scared. As long as the West remains well protected, Heimdall will not fall. She's got the she's got the knowledge. She's not just plot and smoke, okay? She's not just plot, smoke, and fighting. She's she's got This war is still ours for the winning. That hasn't changed. We'll see about that. We will see about that. Would you happen to know anything about that bash tree that sprouted in Crossbell? I've never seen anything like that before. Is it even a tree? Aurelia! Aurelia with the, with the, with the instincts. With the instinctual knowledge. Her sixth sense are going off and that is not an ordinary tree. My dear lady. People are feeling anxious, obviously. Dude, if, if if I woke up one day and I looked outside and I saw a tree that massive, I would lose my mind. I quite agree. That concerns me as well. However, Duke Cayenne insists it's a plan for. Probably because of Vita. Probably Vita told him and that's how he knows. Because let's be honest, Cayenne's a moron. Like, what does he know? He knows nothing. It's not a concern of me. What happens behind the scenes is no concern to me. I'm a warrior. I'm a golden raksha. I'm a demon. I fight on the front lines. I live on the battlefield. I put in the work. I don't worry about that extra nonsense called drivel. <laughs> yeah, I'm a warrior. Yeah, you love to see it. You love to see that smirk. That, that eye look. I love it. She's a literal golden raksha and I'm here for it. Getting right to business. Defend the capital. Your opponents are the 3rd and 4th armor divisions. They'll be advancing in the next few days. Look at this. Rufus has already predicted everything. Rufus has predicted everything. He's already moving his chess pieces pre-movements. Dude, this dude is top antagonistic peak fiction. As much as you hate this dude, as much as you hate this man, you have got to admit that he is peak antagonistic fiction. Are you kidding me? He's predicted everything. Is that so? Oh, is that so? Rufus Albadia. So they're risking everything? Yeah, they are. They are. That's what I'll predict. Look at him. Look at him go. Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex will be worthy enough entertainment. Their clown shows. Their shows. Here's your tickets. I'm giving you two front row seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that smile, Aurelia. Get your blood boiling. I concur. That's a little bit of something. Very well. We should do as you say. I love her character. She's dope. She's definitely my favorite female character in, this, in the Koseki IP. Again, excluding my waifus. Reen's wife, Alyssa, and my wife, Sarah Valestine, excluding those two. She's my favorite female character in this game. And what the heck is this? We got more? We got more. More is happening. 
Duke Cayenne is taking Prince Cedric. What's up, Prince Cedric? What's up, Cedric Rise, our nor the descendant of the or descendant of uh dang it, dude. Oh. Descendant of the Arnor family line? What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Kurosaki, Black Rabbit, should I go in on you and flame you or should I just let it go? Duke Kayen, where are we going? What are you doing? Where are we? I can't believe this is all happening back to back to back. <laughs> You are, you are not about to convince me that none of this is not coincidence. That none of this is connected. We are here to see Duke Cayenne take... Cedric to win or what? We know exactly what he's taking him to. And that what he's taking him to is definitely connected to the Azure Tree. I'm certain of it. It has to do something with the spirit veins. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the lore, people. The place we're traveling to is the center of this country? No, it's a place that governs great power. Yeah, yeah. Hajimari no Kuseki, Hajimari no Kuseki, it's where everything both ends and begins, especially for you, Cedric. This right here is literally the end of your character and the start of a new one. Awari, Hajimari, I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about how he's gonna go flat. Talk about how he's gonna go splat on the ground. <laughs> Altina's got jokes, spam. Altina has got jokes. Again, if, if I flame Altina and she's your favorite character or whatever the case may be, again, because I'm probably gonna rip her the most out of anybody, it's nothing personal, okay? It's just my, it's just my commentary, it's just my gameplay. That's all it is. It's all it is. If you consider her to be top five, top 10, that's perfectly okay with me. I've got nothing against your opinions, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to degrade it or disrespect it. It's just my words coming out. It's all it is. <laughs> Yeah, follow your orders. Follow your melees. Did she finally put on some pants? Altino, did you finally find some pants? You belong you you're work you're being lent to the Noble Alliance. Did you finally find a pair of shorts? Apparently not. Apparently putting on a pair of shorts is too much of a hassle for you. And what's up with the tail sticking out? I get your Kurosagi, but what's up with that? What's up, Vita? What's up, Vita? I've been waiting for you. Oh, sorry. How are you doing? Where did you? Where is your projection just over at the Azure Tree? So. The opera singer. The opera singer. <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? Beats Clotilde, my idol. Can I get tickets? I mean, can I get tickets? Can I get an autograph, please? I have a pen in my pocket. Can I get an autograph? Yeah, It's right here. I've got paper too. You can just quickly sign it. You know what I'm saying? This is always seems going so hard in the background. <laughs> All that remains now is to continue the preparations. So I definitely think that without that Azure Tree, they wouldn't have been able to activate this part of the phase, this part of the plan, and this sort of situation over here that we're, I think we're about to see and get a reveal for. I'm not completely sure. <laughs> Yeah. He's lost and confused. Why did you bring me here? Soon <laughs> We're about to see it, aren't we? Yeah, we're about to see it. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Kicking the old dude, the theme, the theme, the theme song. My goodness, the OST right now. The OST is going hard. The OST is going hard, fam. 
screenshot it. Problems. Major problems. Major, major issues. Dude, the music in this game is too good. Nani? What's this Kore? What is this feeling? Subarashi! 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 Kore Kosoma! Send no buki o motsu tawarashi densis no majin! This is the legendary demon set to wield a thousand bookies. <laughs> that drop, that drop, turn me up, turn me up, turn me up in the headphones. Let's go! CS2! CS2 fictional greatness! Turn me up! Turn me up! Let's go! Let's go! Give me the name. Akano Testarosaka. The Vermilion Testarosa. Things are happening. Things are happening. The story plot is moving. Things are going down. Things are going down. Ouroboros is prepared for their actions. They are preparing for the Phantasma Blaze fan. They got everything ready to go. They've got everything ready to go. And things are moving behind the scenes. Things are moving behind the curtains. Hello. Azure Tree? What in the blaze's name is this bizarre tree that's appearing in cross, but I don't understand what's going on, Tova. Can you please explain to me? Can you clue me and can you enlighten me? Things seem to be tense in Crossbell. Don't think it has a direct effect on Erebonia? Really now? No direct effect? So can we have an indirect effect? You'll keep Calvert off our backs for a while. Eh. It does kind of affect them. It's probably the best distraction because you know what would happen if you got invaded. Oh? Is that your bracer ink sinks? Doesn't take a bracer to think that uses. If Calvert were to invade right now while war is going on, what would happen? Speak to him, Alyssa. Speak to him. Gather information. Guys speaking facts. Guys is speaking facts. We just gotta keep doing what we're doing. There's nothing. There's nothing else we can do. We need more Zumerian ore. So I'm gonna break down the plan for the next few videos after this. This is gonna be slightly different here. What else? What else would I do? And you take care of yourself too. We wouldn't want anything to happen to you before you reunite with your dealer's Carnelia. Now, would you? Who the heck is Carnelia? Who is Carnelia? Is that that Ein's person? Who is that? Who is Tovall's supremacist? Because I believe there's someone called Ein that's super disgusting, na nasty, filthy, overly OP. If I'm not mistaken. What is she talking about? Again, actually, I've never read any of the books. Wait, let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. Too loud. Too loud. I've actually never read any of the books. Like, not even one of them. Because it's like, why would I... I'm trying to play a game, not turn on my PS4 or PS5 to read. I have textbooks for that. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and explain what we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and take out the monster. So we got three spirit shrines. I'm probably going to do a video per... I'm probably going to do a video per spirit shrine and keep them separated instead of trying to mash everything into one video so that way you guys can see my full gameplay and sort of the strats and like because sometimes when I go on the pathways on the so way there, there's some interesting things that happen so I'm going to keep all that stuff on there so we're going to do kind of like 
three different videos for that. Then we've got these these monster quest things we got to do, like Lohigrin Castle, and this one we're about to do right here. And then we are going to start taking on some cryptids, and each cryptid is going to be a separate video also, because those might take a while. So that's the plan: one video per spirit run, unless it takes, unless it's easier. One video per the cryptids, unless it's easier. And then uh, yeah, but right now let's go ahead and take on this monster. Let's take on this turtle. Let's take on this turtle. I probably should have healed first. Yeah, I probably should have healed first. Oh my goodness, I should have healed. Rain got the dodge. Rain actually got the dodge. So he's gonna go spray unification. There's no reason in doing it fire art. So he's gonna go here. We'll go. He can't be burned, obviously, because he's a freaking volcano. It's a freaking volcano turtle. Talk about getting burned. Um, dude, I don't know what to do. Would a Hayate, I guess. Interesting. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were actually made. Dang it, man. Let's do it again. He's sealed. Yo, Reen. Relax, bro. Oh, he's sealed. I have no overdrives available to me. Literally, everybody has to go through Reen because I didn't do any of those chests. Yeah, I'm using S-Craft. Because I believe she gets extra damage for being sealed, right? Against sealed enemies? I don't remember what her master course does, but I think so. We're about to find out. We are about to find out. How much damage, Sarah? How much damage? Come on. Come on. Twirl around. There you go. Northern Lights. You may not have scrap cut in. How much? Thirty-one K. For not having a double, not for not having a double attack buff. I guess that's cool. I really thought she gets extra damage against sealed though. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Blast arrow. Everyone, <laughs> Noble Command, I was so scared. I forgot about the Zero Arts thing. Spirit Unification. Melee. Go here. Go here. Let's go here. Boom. Technically, I could use an overdrive. Sure, let's do it. Let's get that baby girl cut in. Let's get Reen's wife's cut in with along with them. Absolutely. Sure. Faint is 20. Faint is 20 efficacy. How did he faint? Cross Crusade. Yep. How much damage does this do? We're doing a red checker chest right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder Vortex. Nice. Perfect. Nice. You're done. 
You're done. You're done. You're done. Yeah, you're done. Say! You're done. Say! Easy. Get him out of here. Say! Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yes. Ma. Quillen? Quillen. What's Quillen? Isn't that the one that gives me, like, a lot of strength? I believe it's a lot of strength, right? It gives me 25 strength and re reduces strength and reduces defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this one. I like that one. That's very useful. All right, so that's the end of today's video. We had major cutscene reveals, okay? We got to see the Azure Tree in Crossbell, which means nothing good is about to happen in Crossbell or in here. Nothing good is happening in either location whatsoever at all and the preparations are complete Ouroboros is going to start moving and preparing for the final parts of CS2's game that sort of events that's gonna happen so in the next video we're gonna tackle some of the cryptids and we're gonna start taking on these spirit shrines but that's it for now thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video then like the dang video yes. have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one Take care, fam. Peace.